Between winning a Super Bowl and in addition to that, using my power up pass and selling Randy Moss while he was very expensive, I have now gone from uh, around like 100 and, 100 and change to 1 million coins. Now, in the previous videos, uh, some of you guys were saying to use, um, you know, training points for the 24,000 for Randy Moss. Well, I need somebody to tell me what other 96 overall card somebody would purchase for over 600K at this point right now. Um, that's the interesting thing about Madden. People have a lot of ideas, and I understand the, um, the limited time card situation, but you got to understand the value of what Randy Moss is and why it makes sense either way if you spend, it didn't cost me anything to go ahead and just use that power pass, but you would still have to spend coins to get that 24,000 training. So mathematically, you guys do and figure out what you want to do. But for the most part, those of you that ride with me will always know that everything that I tell you is not perfect, but you will always make out the best in the end. So I'll just leave you guys with that. For now, what we're going to be doing is those two cards I actually got from the Super Bowl that sold for those prices, and then Randy Moss... I use my 96 power pass on him. So now that, that that's all done, what we're going to be doing right now, first let's check and see. Okay, we have we still we still have all those things. We still have all those things all those things because we've been very very patient, and um, we also now have over the amount of trophies that are necessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the series trophy case. Okay, we're going to go over to series six. And um, from here, we're going to go down to Madden Coach Collectible, where we only need three more. And we're going to get his Series 6 collectible, which is going to add a physical and scheme chemistry slot, which is going to add plus, um, it's going to be plus one strength, which is my primary thing to the entire team. That's going to be extremely huge. All right, so there goes the coach collectible right there. Um, well, if it ever finished downloading, uh, EA Sports, it's in the game though. But you guys can figure what it looks like. Just use your imagination. After that, we're going to start doing these 94 to 96 things so let's just go ahead and add the remainder of what we have into this so that that's done and then um we'll, we'll know what we need after that to keep going and getting everything else done the 33 that you would need to have done um why did oh, well, i was about to say why didn't they put that one in there that doesn't make any sense all right let's go let's do that so that that we'll do it like that we need 33 more and that that pack right there is going to be very very glitchy because the 92 to 94s were extremely glitchy but I already know that this one right here is going to be outrageous, right? So make sure you keep your eye on that. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to back out of um, let's back out of that situation. So we've already completed a set. All right, we're going to purchase a pack from the store just so that our first couple daily objectives are already done. We'll do that really. Do we? Oh, we got forty-three thousand picks. Oh, get yeah, again. We're not going to use any of our picks trying to get that uh that 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 Bernerick, Bur whatever his name is, bro. That guy sucks. We're not doing it. That limited card, forget about that. We're waiting for newer limiteds, all right? I believe that they're going to be dropping the new Tom Brady, so uh, we'll wait for that Tom Brady and we'll go from there. Um, if he's a limited, that'll work out a lot for everybody. Everybody will go crazy. Probably none of us. That's the guy I'm talking about, though, Chuck Benarick. Um, probably nobody will ever pull, you know, that card. Nobody's going to ever pull Tom Brady, but it'll be pretty fun to see if any of you guys get him if he is a limited card and is available in those sets. So... Let's go over to um, team strategy, and then we're going to over... I don't know what's going on. Why, why are these John Madden coach uh, things not downloading? But, okay, there he goes right there. All right, so look. We're going to be adding this Madden physical and scheme chemistry slot cam. Now, this is the last one. There's no other way for you to get any more um, physical uh, chems, all right? So that's just what it is right there, and you're going to have to deal with that. Series 6 coach Madden. Yes, we're going to add it to the upgrade. Go over to chemistry. Um... So now, look, this is the situation, right? Uh, what, okay, Russian. You can get the physical right here and get tier two. Now, the plus one strength, agility, and acceleration means more to me than the other things that are available. What do I mean by that? I have tier two rushing already complete, right? I got one physical. I got one pass. D. You can see you get one power move, press, and man coverage. That doesn't make any sense for me to do that right now for tier two. For passing, though, you can see that there's a lot of things why my, my players play a lot better in regards to having that Madden passing chemistry, all right? Pass defense can wait. Like, nobody really cares about power move and press. That, that's just going to have to hold off. And um, the rushing, we have tier two with that, all right? Because that's what we chose to do the last time. And that also enhances all of the linemen as well, which is why a lot of my linemen are really, really chemmed up crazy. So with this, 
this is what we're looking to do. Um, you see that it's 5,000 training, so it is very expensive. But again, I, this is going to let us know what's going on as far as like how our team is working. And I want to give you guys some examples. Before we even add that on, if strength is a factor, a lot of things are going to change as far as like my old line goes. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at what's happening. Like guys like Larry Allen and, um, you know, people like that, right? You see how he has a 99 strength in white? A lot of the other cards that I have, they don't have 99 strength. Larry Allen plays out of his mind. I don't know if that's what the issue is. Bruce Matthews is a little weak. Anthony Muniz, he's a little bit weak. Um, you know, Randall McDaniel, you saw he's a 97. Boosting these guys' strength should have some kind of determination. Now, remember, at the end of the day, you could always get players that, um, like five of the same players from the same team and get a boost in strength that way. But that becomes rather difficult if you're not running a theme team, all right? So that's something that I just want to point out. But looking at the overall situation with the linemen, it's going to enhance whatever you're doing with them. So if you're not already a 99 strength, you're going to be a lot stronger than you actually already are. Uh, Rob Gronkowski, just so you guys are aware of it, he has a very, very high strength for a, um, for a tight end. All right, so his strength being a 94, going to a 95, you know, it is what it is. I would also like to point out that he doesn't move or react in the game like a 95 speed. He still looks and, and, and is very, very slow. The thing about him is, like I said, George Kittle moves a lot faster than him because George Kittle's power-up base speed, I believe, is a 95. So you're at least getting that 95 speed. Gronkowski in no way, form, or fashion moves like that. I just wanted to also, um, you know, touch on that because... When we're talking about certain aspects of the game, I like to make sure that you guys know what's happening. All right, so he's a 94 and goes to a 97. All right, but that 94 speed is still a lot faster than what Grunk is at his base of like a 91. All right, so even though Grunk is powered up and all that stuff looks good, Grunk is not a speedster. He also can't block anything. The dude couldn't block a dead ant on the ground. So just I just wanted to point that stuff out to you before we go ahead and add the collectible to the set so that we all understand what we're looking to do. In my situation, it just... Oh, God, that's Series 7. Okay. In my situation, it's just better for us to see right now if the strength factor works rather than to go ahead and just add, um, you know, pass defense. Like, it doesn't it doesn't really make any sense to do it like that. Um, you know, overall... Hold up. I don't have Rush D. Oh, yeah. Rush D is also not something that I have. So, we have to wait to see exactly, you know, what this does. But I think that... In our case of overall, it will boost everybody that you just so you're not using the plus five of every team to get that, you know, that one strength. Everybody getting plus one strength should impact the team in a positive way. So let's go ahead and use the 5,000 on that and let's equip the chemistry. All right. Now everybody gets that boost, the entire team. All right. Let's back out of that and let's go back over and start checking out what's happening. Now, the acceleration and stuff like that, a lot of the things that go on. You might say, yo, bro, it's definitely like it has no bearing on the game. And a lot of you are, you know, you know, pretty smart with it. Like, let's say Joe Green, right? Now that he has a plus one strength, where is his strength? He's a 99 strength, but I think he already had a 99 based on um, something else that was going on. But I, but I don't know. But we're going to be able to determine a lot of the different things that's going on with these players now. Would, would, would that plus one strength that... Uh, gets their tear above a 90 plus, what, is that going to do something? Like a guy like, uh, you know, Night Train Lane, Mel Blunt, these guys, like is it going to impact the way that they're playing when you, you know, just because their strength has gone up plus one? I don't think so. On the defensive side of the ball, I really just don't think so. But what I do know is that offensively, with the way that the O-line plays, that it's going to be impactful. Gronkowski being a goal 99, like I said, is it a chance that I might rage soul Gronk? It, like, he misses so many blocks, it's highly possible. And yeah, he every now and again, he'll go up and get a ball that's like crazy. But he's not doing it on a consistent basis where I'm like, yo, he's untouchable. Like, dude can get, yo, instantly. Yeah, bruh, hey, I'm going to have to get rid of that guy instantly, bro. And again, with the secure, uh, the secure pass blocking thing, I'm not really sure. Like, I can't be 100% sure, but I can tell you this. Ever since I took it off of Anthony Muniz, he's been actually a lot better. So I, I don't know. I'm going to look. Let me, let, let's look right now. I don't think they have a lot of options 
other than to identify, lead the way, and secure a pass blocker. Like, I don't think, yeah, like most of them only have, and yeah, don't believe the hype. Having double of the same red chem does not enhance your player any more than it, you know, than it already is. So that's the only reason that it makes sense to like have secure a pass blocker on it because that's all that's available for the lineman. But realistically, the left tackle, ever since I took it off of him, he's been blocking a whole lot better. So I don't know if there's like a science behind it, if it's just so stupid that it just doesn't work at all. I'm not sure. Um, but that's pretty much the way that it goes. But now with the way that everything is, um, you wouldn't need to do something like this. Let me just show you what you would be able to forego. Because right now the things are not coming up. But let me just go ahead and go ahead and back out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, you wouldn't have to have five of the same person, well, five of the same team in order to get the plus one speed anymore. So if you had that going on on your team, you could keep it for the additional strength boost, but if you only wanted the plus one strength to be like Dallas Cowboys, right? If I got rid of the extra Dallas Cowboys now, because I don't need them, uh, the 49ers, whoever I have as 49ers dudes, if I got rid of those extra cards, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Minnesota Vikings, I don't, I don't need that anymore. You see what I'm saying? I don't need those five players to get the strength because I get it without all of that, but now that just gives them an additional boost for those specific players, all right? So that's pretty, that's like ideally what goes on. So like, you see like how this guy's a Viking? Randy Moss is getting, he should be getting plus two strength. If you look at his card, like let's go look at what um, his strength is saying on his final tier, uh, 57. So he should be at a 59 right now because he's getting it from the Vikings and he's getting it uh, from John Madden coach. So those, those things have, it, it might have no impact at all. Is he going to still drop the ball? Yeah, look, you can see he, has, he still is, is chilling with a 59 overall strength right there. Is he going to drop the ball every chance he gets? More than likely, yes, he's going to do it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, more than likely, he is going to do it. But I just wanted to point that out, that that was one of the other ways that it gets your fullback a plus one overall. Like, Franco at one point would not be a 99 because of the plus one strength. So if I wanted to take away the Steelers' chem now, I could successfully. Now all that's left for us to do is to see if it actually has any kind of impact on the game at all, in any type of aspect. And based on the way that they go, the game goes with no inconsistency, more than likely, it probably won't, but it's going to make it easy for us to get a 99 overall because that enhances certain things on the squad to make you get close to a 99. So like, the, like this guy right here, once I get his new card and he goes to a 99, that would make us only need to get this guy to a 99, which means we'll be only waiting for Randy Moss. And our, our offense should be at that point Unless we got to get this guy to a 99 with the plus two, um, everybody should be a 99. You know, once they release Willie Anderson and we get Moss that plus one. And then defensively, we're going to be looking to upgrade Mel Blunt uh, to a 99. And then obviously we got to wait for Alan Page and Howie Long. And then once those situations happen, we're not going to have much issue after that with getting, you know, it'll be all 99 on defense. So we're very, very close to achieving that 99 overall team. Um, we just have to wait out for like these two cards right here. And then that's pretty much a wrap and that's going to be it. So let me know if you've, um, gotten to this level with John Madden already. Let me know which one you used. Are you with the plus, um, the plus one strength, acceleration, agility, all that good stuff. Because remember acceleration is pretty good too, but the blue chems have been, uh, kind of iffy for the entire year. So we have to actually see for ourselves. As a matter of fact, with that extra acceleration, that should put a lot of people in a whole different, um, like Randy Moss. What was his acceleration? Did we see that just a while ago? Would it, would it, uh, do, 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 do. Let's 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 check his acceleration really quickly. Acceleration. Accel Why did not showing it on that screen? Um, acceleration. Ninety-seven. So that gets boosted up one. His was a ninety-six, so that should go to ninety-seven. Acceleration for Jerry Rice will be a ninety-eight. 94 okay i don't i don't use that guy his acceleration will go to a 93 all right because you gotta you gotta remember they don't they don't really um they don't show you the chems when you're not on the actual card so that acceleration will be huge that's gonna be really really good what about ricky williams his acceleration should have gone up a decent amount too all right 97 and he's been playing like an absolute animal so that is gonna definitely have impact on our games 
uh, going forward. So I'll get back to you guys, let you know what's going on. You guys can always become G Myers World members right here on YouTube. Click the link in the description box. Um, once I have verified that you have become a member, you can actually ask me questions in the comments. Um, about specific parts of your mutt team and also you'll get special um, I, uh, Iconic things, you know your globes my my avatars all my memes everything like that that I use in live streams um, You know the, the custom badges next to your name You'll get all that as a member But the biggest thing is you'll be able to ask you know questions when I'm not actually streaming once I verify uh, That you are a member. All right, so you can do those things You can also see full gameplay on G Myers world gaming and listen to podcasts on G Myers world podcast when you have some free time. I want to thank everybody for watching. Enjoy your day. Until next time, one love.